The Long Island Sound is home to numerous birds and marine life, as well as a watery playground for boaters and sailors. Our waterway is a thriving environment for human and animal life to exist together. Ecology is the study of that very existence between organisms like humans, fish and birds, and their surroundings. In this case, it's the Long Island Sound. Conservation ecology is one of the most up-and-coming fields of science. Its goals are to conserve species, habitats, landscape, and ecosystems. Conservation ecology is so popular because of the increased depreciation of natural environments and ecosystems worldwide. This increase is due to global warming and a more direct human impact like pollution. Pollution has many forms. Essentially, pollution is the introduction of any harmful contaminant that's outside the norm of an ecosystem. Common man-made pollutants that reach an ecosystem are pesticides, herbicides, fertilizer, detergent, oil, sewage, plastic, and other debris. 80% gradually makes its way down from land-based sources some far inland via storm drains, sewers, etc. Nitrogen-rich fertilizer pollutes the waterways by running from lawns into the drains that go directly to the sound, making its way to the sound causing harmful blooms of algae that cause oxygen to be depleted from the water. Many plastic pollutants collect at depths and then are consumed by small marine organisms and thus introduced into the global food chain. Improperly discarded fishing line and ghost traps tangle and trap animals. Noise pollution can come from such things as boats and can affect the mating, communication, and migration of many marine animals. It's all a ripple effect. As carbon dioxide in the air increases, the ocean absorbs it. That makes the ocean more acidic. The higher levels of acidity in the ocean decrease calcium carbonate which plankton, crabs, mussels, clams, and oysters all use to make shells. These creatures are at the bottom of the food chain, so their health affects seabirds, fish, and marine mammals. Single-use grocery bags, water bottles, drinking straws, yogurt containers are all examples of plastics that pollute our beaches. It can take plastic anywhere from 400 to 1,000 years to break down. Plastics entangle and jeopardize the marine life, and are being ingested by fish, birds, and other marine mammals. The fish that eat the plastic are fish that we are eating, so we are inadvertently feeding ourselves plastic. The fate of the ocean is not only up to government agencies, but to all of us. Every single person can make a difference, be it large or small. One way to start reducing pollution in our waterways is to be mindful of what's running off into the streets from our cars and lawns, being conscious of our plastic consumption, and coming to a cleanup and make sure our shorelines and beaches are garbage free. My name is Kyle Troy. I'm the naturalist at the Marine Education Center in Harbor Island. Come down if you'd like to learn more.